Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Today Larry and I are gonna be very active. We're running around, it's early in the morning. It's probably really not that early, it's like nine. But we are headed off to a hair salon actually because I have a consultation about my hair. So we'll see how that goes. And then, oh, we're going to my mom's house. <laughs> she go back here, that traffic is so loud. Because Larry and I have a phone meeting and mom's gonna listen in and then we're gonna head off to the mall and the post and uh, maybe some food. So yeah, it's gonna be a crazy busy day, guys. So we're gonna take you along with us. Hello. Hello. Okay, guys, so I just came out of salon. I think it was 247, right? And had a wonderful consultation. Met the manager. They were all so lovely and so nice in there. And, and the owner. And the owner, yes, the owner. Um, let me turn on the car, it's kinda hot. Oh, it's kind of hot in here. I should take this off now. <laughs> oh, side note. Central Perk Crop Top is from Kohl's, in case you guys are wondering. As you guys know, if you are following me on Instagram, you will know that I put up a poll asking if I should chop my hair or not to chop my hair. To like here. And it's like down past my, my coffee mugs. <laughs> and... You guys voted for me to chop off my hair. So I went up there, got a lovely consultation, and they said that it was A-OK -okay for me to film inside. So I'm gonna be filming the hair chop experience, which is gonna be coming soon. By the time you guys see this vlog, I'm getting my hair cut Tuesday. This vlog will go up Saturday. So Tuesday, my hair is getting cut and colored. And um, I'm gonna film the whole thing. Are you excited? Well, I'm gonna get my hair chopped in too. Okay. All right then. Let's get chopped together. Chop. All right, we're heading off now to my mom's for a meeting. We have not eaten yet. It's 11 o'clock and we haven't eaten yet today. It's not good. So we're gonna eat after that and catch up with you guys soon. We are currently at the mall. The mall. Larry's still in the car, he's getting situated. Um, we have a few things that we need to do here. Our business meeting went very well. Very excited to share news with you guys eventually. And um, yeah, so I am going to um, get my eyebrows done because it's been a long time. And I think for the first time ever, I'm gonna get them threaded, which I've never had done. And I've actually heard it's extremely painful, but I don't know, I can't get them waxed because I break out in like tiny little bumps all over the place if I get waxed. So I usually do the plucking, but I think the threading actually, I don't know, we'll see, because I've never had it done, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But this is the before. It is so bright, I cannot see, but this is the before. I don't know, you can see them like maybe down here. Just a little bit, but anyways. Oh, I need an eyebrow pencil as well. And then I'm also looking into the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I don't know if I'll get that. We'll see. I've never had it. Like, that's like old news. The Jaclyn Hill palette's been out for quite a long time, but I never did get my hands on it. So we will see if that's something that'll happen today. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna head in now. I'm gonna put the camera down so cow. I don't run into a car or something crazy. Look how good they are. They're like on point. Okay, so just finished, I think I have eyebrow hairs all over my face. Sorry. Just finished um, doing my brows and I don't know why I haven't done the threading in the first place or why I've waited so long to do my brows in general because holy freaking crap, they're like on point. I love them so I'm gonna be doing that for now on. And she fixed them. She fixed them for me. It's on my face. She said like basically I took too much from like up here versus like under. Or I don't know how she explained it, but she tried to fix them for me. Well, that'll I work like it. them. I love them. There it goes, finally. There it goes. FYI, I will let you guys know that the threading didn't really hurt too bad while they were doing it. Kind of shocking, but not too bad. I actually think plucking is worse, but um... It burns now. <laughs> it burns a little bit more now that time has gone by. We're currently heading into Hot Topic to see if they have any Harry Potter stuff. So. Yeah. Where's the Harry Potter section? Harry Potter section. I don't see that Hermione shirt here. Oh, I like this. 
want the front cover of the book on it, but that's... What's that? Oh, I like that too. This mall is so quiet. Very quiet now. We are currently now. We didn't find anything we really wanted in Hot Topic, so heading over to Bath and Body Works. Check out what they have. This one is really, really good. Georgia Peach. And so are these. Vanilla Coconut and Cucumber Lily. Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> Cactus Blossom is another one that's really good. Ambulance. Okay. We have now come into Hobby Lobby, which is actually my favorite store to go into during fall, of course. Fall, oh, don't fall. And Christmas. But we're here to look at a few shadow boxes for Larry's like hobby. We're putting like the badges and the patches in it and stuff. So we're coming to see if any of those are on sale. And that's about it. That's about it. So we'll see. Oh, where are you going? Oh, it's, oh, they're coming here. The fire truck's already over there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> She's so not interested. She's just gonna hide behind you. I either have a cattail sticking out of my ear or little kitty ears coming out of the top of my head. Okay, so we are back from the store. We are home now. So we figured we would take our items out, show you guys, and do a little haul. Larry got a little less than I did. So we went shopping at Target. We'll start there first. Larry got a few things at Target too. I got a couple. Woo! We got lots of stuff. Okay, so my first item is a pair of jeans, and I think they're like, oh, they're mom jeans. So they're high-rise mom jeans. That's what I thought. I was going to call them mom jeans, but then it says it on here. And they're that really pretty washed blue 90s style like mom jean, you know, like the old traditional light blue jeans. That's what these are, and they're wild fable, and I got them in a size 6. Your zipper's so. down. <laughs> Where's it for? I'll make sure it's not down. So I will try those on, see how they fit. And those I purchased for $22. Okay. The next item I got, I purchased it because of the color. It's so bright and I loved it. And it's this yellow t-shirt with sunflowers on it. What's it say at the bottom, babe? It says be in the pomet, but it's folded so I can't see it. Wait. I was going to say that doesn't make sense. Be in the present moment. Oh, I love that. This I got in a size medium. It's 100% cotton, which is why I did go with a little bit of a bigger size. So I didn't want it to shrink. And what was I going to say? Oh, the price. It was $14.99, but I think I got it for $12.99, honestly. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, though. I purchased this pink cropped hoodie. And I loved it because of the saying. It says, more doing, less worrying, more hoping, eternal hope society, which I thought was really cute. This was on clearance for $11.48, and it's that really pretty light pink, which I love. Looks like it was $14.99. Oh, that yellow sunflower shirt? Okay. And then I also got another. This one I liked, of course, it has writing down the sleeves, which I don't even know what it says. Oh, New York on one side Los and Los Angeles on the other side, and it's a mint green. This was also on sale for $16.08, another cropped hoodie. And then my, no, I have two more t-shirts. One more. This one. <laughs> it's cute. What's it say, babe? It says, feeling great. Which is great. This would be cute. Great. Tucked into those mom jeans. Hmm. And that was another clearance sale, $7.48. And then this one is a crop tee. It says smile more in that very bright pink. And this was not on sale, was it? $14.99. So that is my clothing items. $14.99. All from Target. I have a, uh, a frame that's for a sign board. It's got the letters that you can put in it. It's like a felt with lines. And when people come and visit, I usually put welcome and whatever their names are. Uh, but this... This is symbols and... Actually, that's like similar to the one you had. Yeah. Um, letterboard. That's what it's called. I have a letterboard. And these are these are just different symbols that... Sorry about the glare. That will go on the, the letterboard. Hashtag Larry. 
So that'll give you an idea of what, what's in there. There's there's a bunch of stuff. What does it say? 40 uh, count. 40 different things. Project so, 62 is the brand. Yeah. So we'll, we've got that. That was a target item. And you're going to laugh about this. It's a universal cassette tape adapter for car stereos. So my car is 15 years old, and it does have a cassette tape player. But because it's so old, you can't plug in an iPod or an iPad or an i whatever it is and listen to music. But with this invention, you can put this into where the cassette tape would go. It's got a wire that plugs into your phone or your iPod, and you'll be able to listen to that through your car stereo system. That's quite smart. It is quite smart. Brilliant. Brilliant. So I'm going to give this a try and see if I can join the 2000... 19 motoring like public. I like it. Because my car is old. Hey, Alta Hall, here we go. Look what I finally got. I finally got the Jaclyn Hill palette after, I don't know, it came out. When did it come out? A year ago? It was before Christmas. Yeah. So I haven't even looked at mine, so I'm going to open it. I swatched a couple of the colors in the store. They're beautiful, and I'm pretty much gonna wear literally every single shade in the palette, which is why I wanted to get it. At the same time, though, right? I might. That'd be fun. That'd be crazy. Are you ready? Oh, and look, look, has it all on the back? The names and the shades on the back. Are you ready? Oh, oh my gosh! Look, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. What is that? Pukey? <laughs> it says pukey. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people have commented about that shade. Mm. There's a story behind it. I watched her video. I don't remember what she said, but there is a story behind that shade. But Well, how many different colors are there? 36, I believe. Yeah, it's 36 for $36, so a dollar a, a shade, mm. technically. Well, there it is. So I finally got that. Can't wait to try it. Can't wait. And that was $36. Next item is a cleanser. Just a CeraVe SA cleanser for normal skin. Gently cleanses and exfoliates while softening and smoothing the skin with, blah, with salicylic acid and ceramides. Non-comedogenic, non-drying, non-irritating. Perfect. Um, oh, and then L'Oreal was having a sale buy one, get one half off. So I actually purchased two new brow pencils. This one, which is kind of like the, I don't know if they're dupes, they just reminded me of it the way they were built, but this one is kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, so I picked up that one. I actually used to have Brow Wiz, ran out. This is just more affordable, so I went with this one this time. And I got it in the shade Brunette. And then I got the thicker one that's more of like a triangle kind of edge, so we'll give these a try, see how they go. And they were... Six dollars and eighty nine cents. But you got one half off. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, you see what I'm saying. And then the last item I purchased from Alta is finally the Morphe setting spray. I finally got it. This is sixteen dollars, by the way. And I used the Urban Decay setting spray. That one is, oh, was it thirty two? Thirty-two dollars. Good job. I'm proud of you. I was showing them. I took them all around all time. I was like, look at the price difference between this, this, this. Now, I love my Urban Decay setting spray, but I'm really excited to try this one. I've heard wonderful things. So, and I hear it's like a beautiful mist and not like a squirt. This is like an aerosol. So you're supposed to do it back here. Yeah, you're supposed to kind of like. You know what I mean? It's okay, Lexi. <laughs> so, that is my haul. I have one more item, but Larry has a few items, so. We got one more item? Yeah, just this. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Fuzzy. Mr. Fuzz, Mr. Fluff. So, a while back down here in Florida, I found probably one of only two Steelers jerseys that I would wear, and that was the number 43 Troy Palomalu jersey, but... It's not stitched, it's the iron-on numbers and letters and stuff, and it's... Uh, you like the stitched more, right? I do like the stitch more, and it's the only patch it has is this one here. This is even an iron-on here. Did we wash this? Yeah. I was going to say, it smells like fresh laundry. 
Yeah. Mm. It's washed. All my stuff is washed. Well, I know, but I just... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't think I'd find another one. Well, take this one. Oh, I see what's happened. Throw it over there. I didn't want to scare Lexi. Because today, I found this one. Fully stitched, numbers, letters, patches, Super Bowl, Steelers. Absolutely amazing in my size. Couldn't have done better. So that was a good find for me. Good job, babe. I'm proud of you. Thanks. And when I couldn't find any more jerseys, I found for the low, low price of $3.98 a rain jacket. That's a raincoat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rain like coat. a windbreaker, maybe. Yeah. I think it's a windbreaker. Windbreaker? Not a raincoat. Yeah, some of these You'll things, get wet. I think, look like raincoats until you wear them out in the rain and you get soaked. Windbreaker. Windbreaker it is. Uh, but it's got the City of Newport Ritchie Marine Institute logo on it, which I thought was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And for, again, the low, low price of three ninety eight, I thought I'd give it a try. I like it. So those were the two things. I was very happy to find the Pittsburgh Steelers jersey, number 43 on it. That was a good find. It was a good find. And then your bolts. Oh, yeah. Then we went to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And I got a shadow box. They were 50% off. So that was exciting because I can use these. I need two of this size, which I found, and then I need a bigger one for another project that I have in mind. And we were able to find that, and they were all 50% off. Yeah, that one is a big one. It's a big one. And I tried to use a 40% off. Uh, Coupon? Yeah, from the, the cell phone. No can do. Not going to happen because everything was already on sale. It was sale. on sale. So that's understandable. My last item. <laughs> Sorry, babe. It's alive. Uh, okay, it's alive. This is a stool for my vanity. And the reason I got this one is because the one that I had, and he's fluffy. He is fluffy. And this was on sale originally at Hobby Lobby, $39.99. But they were um, selling or going on sale with, they were going on sale with their furniture. No, they were having a furniture sale. So it was reduced down to $27.99, 30% off. Oh, it says furniture is always 30% off. Yeah. So moral of the story, guys, I broke my old stool and then I've been using a computer chair and broke the wheel that popped off. Is that a sign or something? Like I'm breaking know. everything I sit on. I blame it on the refrigerator. Very nice. <gasps> Not the dryer. Oh, our dryer dries or shrinks everything, right? God, I'm getting fuzz up my nose. So This looks like Cousin It. <laughs> so I said, our dryer is shrinking all the clothes. And he's like, so it's not the refrigerator? I was like, excuse me? Excuse me, Larry? He's joking, of course. Full and funny. Hopefully everybody knows who Cousin It is. I'm sure everybody knows who Cousin It is. Or... It looks like one of those things that when you get upset, you're supposed to shake it. Ah. Don't be breaking legs off my new stool. And then when you shake it, all the all the stuff goes crazy, and you look like me when I had hair. But <laughs> Lexi, do you like the new stool? I wonder if she'll sit on it. Oh. I told. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. The the thing exploded, and I got overcome with fur. Wow. Okay, so we had one item in the PO box. And this is from Adrian Skincare. And this is what it looks like. Is it from Egypt? Um, Carry it down to Egypt. No, okay. they're they're from Lawrence, Kansas. Kansas. So I had a town in Kansas named after me. Okay, so it looks or, like it looks like this. Or I was named after a town in Kansas. Oh, you got um, sparklies from your ring all over yeah. it. Yeah. So it looks like there's a chapstick inside, uh -huh. and it's Adrian handcrafted lip balm, peace and tranquility. Very nice. Hello, oh. Mindy and Larry. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Um, hello, Mindy and Larry. Thank you for posting a post office box so that I can send you a free gift of JoJo handcrafted lip balm. If you showcase this product on your show, I will send you all of my products to air on your show. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, 
Okay, because the JoJo Handcrafted Lip Balm is made of only two 100% pure ingredients, which is very nice. Jojoba oil and beeswax. So it goes on to read more. Okay, so it has an SPF of about four. It nourishes the lips, penetrates your skin. So let's give this a try. And it comes in the, the regular size that you would expect to find lip balm in. Yeah. It's uh, net weight is 0.15 ounce or 4.2 grams. And it is from the Queendom. Oh, it's perforated right here. Okay, so. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Definitely no scent. Oh, it actually feels very moisturizing, not like a sticky lip product. That's nice. I like that. It's actually like more yeah, of like a jojoba I think oil. It's a hundred percent. No, it's uh, honey with the oil added to it. No, it only, it only beeswax. has beeswax. Beeswax and just the jojoba oil. That actually feels really, really nice and would be perfect to use like at a pamper session when you're pampering, pamper evening, and you exfoliate your lips and you just want to put a really natural oil on at night. Thank you so much for sending it. Here's on there the card. In case anybody's interested. Conveniently located at 4700 West 27th Street in Lawrence, Kansas, 66047. Operators may not be standing by, but you have a try anyway at 1 785 331 4224. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> He's an announcer. There's the card. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, check her out. Look at Lexi. She's all like. <laughs> Hi, babes. Are we bothering you? <gasps> Hi, little one. Oh, she's. Is she giving me a sassy face like, don't touch me, Mom? No, I think she could get the lip balm. <gasps> oh, there's the bite. Oh, and the kick. I know, the bite. Ooh, she got <laughs> the her gentle mad. bite and the kick. You got her mad. All right, before the sun comes down every anymore and we look really funny with these reflections. <laughs> Blinded by the light. All right, we're going to end this video here. Ow! Lexi! <laughs> <laughs> you chopped the mama. <laughs> oh, you scared me. I don't think she liked my arm back there. There's Lexi. Now she's gone. <laughs> okay, we are going to end this video this here. If you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Lexi. Lexi, say bye. <laughs> Bye, Lexi Giddy. Not gonna happen. Lexi says bye to all her kitty fans and puppy fans and whatever other animal friends. She's got a lot of animal friends. Oh my god. Okay. Baby. Shark. Kitty. Kitty. Do, 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 do. Like I got a little. Most of the time you say little something, it is a little something, but you got yelled at for saying little too much. I say a lot of things too much, like a super exciting video for you guys. Wait. Guys, I said guys again. An eyelash? No, it's it's an eyebrow hair. Yeah. Lexi's. Hey, greed. Hey, greed. Come on, Lexi. Come on, Boogie. Family video. <laughs> I know, it's time. It's time. You're a good jumper. Gonna be on the video. Perfect. Hello. Lexi's gonna lay right behind you. Lexi, you're supposed to sit in the middle, not she's, she's looking at her head. <laughs> alright guys, so we oh I said alright guys. Somebody said maybe say guys a little less. Oh I boy. probably say that all the time. Don't say little either. Wait. How's we gonna do that? We gotta zoom out. We'll do that. <laughs> oh obviously. Obviously. Thank you for posting a post office box so that I can send you your free gift of ho ho. Ho ho. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> Thank you for posting a post box so that I can send you a free gift of JoJo handcrafted lip. <laughs> handcrafted? Well, you can get handcrafted. That's a little bit more rare than the handcrafted. The handcrafted <laughs> one's much more harder to find. Oh no, you have lines all over you from the window. You Looks look like, like a I have zebra. a striped shirt. <laughs>